For instance, a sharp example here is the case of Fan2, a Korean guitarist whose guitar performance was used in YouTube by more than 81 million people, and he became a star. In the remote audiovisual communication, in real time, some kind of revolution happened. Ten years ago, it was a complex and expensive issue that only the TV organization could manage. Today, a video conference call can be made with cheap and personal tools, which everybody can manage, just like PC, smartphones, wired and wireless connections, and with very cheap or free applications. All this evolution is opening up a wide bunch of unprecedented communication possibilities, which have changed and are changing the way people live, work, study, and learn. Today, people are experts in communication, are information producer, pr producers, gatherers, disseminators, sharers, modifiers, and storers. Today, an increasing part of the knowledge of, on the world we live in is achieved through the media. And a relevant role in this trend is performed by the remote communications, both synchronous and asynchronous. People can instantly, inexpensively, and easily communicate in remote, and an increasing part of the communication is in remote. What for centuries has been the dream of the political and economic power, of the governments, of the inventors, and of the magicians, is here and cheap today. I think one of the words uh, to reflect on today is speed. Indeed, speed is a very questionable and co controversial word, which often reminds to environmental, ethical, as well as sustainability and pollution-related issues. In 1997, in Amsterdam, I attended to a yearly event called Doors of Perception that was very popular at that time, which was organized by the National Design Institute, and it was directed by John Zekerer. In the, 19, the 1997 edition was devoted to discuss about the topic of speed. And when I was back home, I wrote an article for Domus magazine where I wrote that we need speed, as this term is generally defined, in order we do not compete as losers with nature to be understood equally generally, and even to have the illusion of immortality. What we do require are concrete projects for this speed. The debate around speed arose in the last decade regarding some particular application or sides of the human culture concerning more the matter than the information. For instance, it is very stigmatized the sense of the cars, which were originally built to speed up traveling and were uh, celebrated by the futurists in the beginning of the 20th, uh, 20th century. But today, instead, especially in the cities, they allow going slower and slower and are a polluting cause. Anyway, speed is in the human culture since the acquisition of the symbolic ability that produces a huge, a huge acceleration in the process of creating more and more complex tools and artifacts. Let's see some examples. In the Stone Age, from the first simple splitters to the first axis, which also more refined, they apparently are not so different, there is a gap of one million years. One million year is a time which is simply inconceivable. Our ancestors probably lived in a culture with simple, very rare, and fragile updates of their technologies. Instead, between the discovery of fire and today's many different ways to use the fire-based energy, pass 400,000 years. A relevant acceleration happened inside the information and the communication realms. For thousand years until the invention of the telegraph, the speed of people, animals, things, and information has approximately the same order of magnitude. The remote communication in real time was a dream of the government and even projects based on telepathy were funded. In roughly one century and a half, a time which is very small if compared to the human culture history, we gave an extraordinary boost to the information speed. In fact, today, people animals and things uh, can go very quick, but the information can roughly reach the speed of light that is being more than 500,000 times quicker than, pe than people, animals, and things. And this picture shows a calculation of the speed boost. We can find an acceleration inside the, the media realm too. In the USA, 
The radio requires 38 years to reach 50 million people. The television needed 13 years, the cable eight years, and the internet five. <laughs>